What's up beautiful people? Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Lee, aka Jen Sparkly, commander of the Sparkle Army. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out in my little corner of the internet. I hope you'll stay. The Sparkle Army, it's a bunch of rad, rad folks. And yeah, I say words like rad. Whatever. It is Friday, Friday the 13th, April 13th, 2018. And on Fridays, we do This Week in Sparkle. For those of you who are new, This Week in Sparkle is a weekly series where I share stories in the news that I found interesting, that maybe angered me, maybe made me feel good. But the bottom line is I want to know what you think about it. As always, you are expected to maintain respectful discussion in the comments at all times. The Sparkle Army does have a three-step system for all trolls, bullies, and abusers. Step one, we mock ya. Step two, we block ya. Step three, we forget you ever existed. So, play nice and we'll play nice. Now, as always, before we jump into this, it is important that I make the distinction that everything I speak about in all of my videos, whether they be a This Week in Sparkle, a prior video, or a forthcoming video, all expressions, views, and commentary are solely my thoughts, commentary, and opinion. They in no way, shape, form, or fashion reflect the beliefs of any of the companies for whom I am an ambassador or promoter. Strictly me. Strictly me. So, without any further ado, let's just jump into it. Yes, I know that's a Philip DeFranco thing. No, I'm not going to rip him off. <laughs> He's so cute though, isn't he? Alright, this first story is actually a follow-up on a story I covered last week. Channel Awesome, a huge, huge, I guess you could call it like a, uh, almost just like a multi, what a multinational corporation would be in, in the realm of YouTube. It's one of the biggest collections of creators. One of the biggest ones probably on the entire platform. Well, in the last couple of weeks, a massive, nearly 70 page Google Docs document has surfaced detailing in excruciating detail all form of mismanagement, harassment, bullying, sexual harassment, potential pedophilia. It's a lot to unpack. Well, since I covered this story last week, there has been a mass exodus of creators and it does not look like the hailstorm is stopping anytime soon. For those of you who maybe didn't catch the story last week, linked as always will be the article from which I drew this information. I will also link the 70 page Google Docs document so that you can read through it yourself. I'd love to know what you think. What do you think about the charges? Were they grooming teenage girls for who knows what? Uh, it's a frighteningly fascinating story and it just goes to show you how some people even with the tiniest most minute amount of power it's like they, they get drunk with that power that's a scary thing but yeah what do you think about the channel awesome mess talk to me next up from Baton Rouge Hope Academy in Louisiana, my neighbor down south. Teacher was caught on camera mocking an autistic student. Delightful. A child named Camden came home telling his mom that he was upset that his teacher had been picking on him. So the mother put a recording device in his backpack and let it run all day long. Uh, 
over the course of the day you hear during spelling class the teacher say well Cameron why can't or Camden why can't you just write the word down and you can hear the child pick he's kind of panicking and he says well I um 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 rather than stop stopping what she's doing helping Camden with his spelling word she proceeds to mock his stutter and goes mm -hmm. it's not hard Camden and while it isn't clear when this was said there are also pieces of audio where you hear what one teacher saying to another oh and he wants to go to a regular middle school no effing way he wouldn't make it a day now once this video or it was just audio but once this audio of course hit the internet you know how stuff like that goes people do not play when it comes to harassing children especially when you are the educator the principal of the school released a statement that didn't so much apologize as she did protect the teacher and say well we weren't even notified of this tape before it was put online I I think you're kind of missing the point of what's going on here principal numb nuts darling it, it's not about that clearly she put it online because she knew nothing would happen unless she shamed you into actually running your school the right way unbelievable I will have a link to that article and these snippets of audio so you can hear for yourself listen read the article tell me what you think I know some of you guys in the sparkle army are parents so yeah tell me what you think I'd, lo I'd really love to know next up comedian TJ Miller I had to take a sip of tea on this one because this is big okay TJ Miller called 911 and made a complaint saying he thought a woman that was on the train he was on had a bomb in her purse. He called claiming that she kept opening her bag, looking in it, asking over and over, what time are we going to get there? He said she seemed like she was in a hurry to get off the train and leave that bag. Now. As police came to investigate these claims, a completely different story comes to light. Evidently, TJ was extremely inebriated, had several glasses of wine, and at least two double doers in water, which is scotch. And uh, so he was very drunk, and he got into what one assistant referred to as a screaming match with this woman over and over and over yelling and screaming back and forth and so it would appear that he got into a drunken screaming match with someone on the train and decided that since he didn't like her he would make false bomb threat charges TJ Miller has worked on such movies as Cloverfield and the emoji movie I'm guessing after this he might be filming some naughty movies in the prison shower maybe as always link below check it out tell me what you think next up the FBI serving multiple multiple warrants raids Donald Trump's lawyers office home and hotel room this is seeking answers for why Stormy Daniels was paid over $130,000. Why Karen McDougal, another former porn star and adult entertainment actress, was also paid over $100,000. And ties to Putin need to be cleared up. There's still way too much connection between the Trumps and Russia. What do y'all think? And this is a hot button issue, so I will, I will, I will reiterate right here. The Sparkle Army are some of the sweetest, smartest, kindest people on the planet. 
we welcome intelligent discussion even if you don't agree with us that's okay if you don't agree with me that's okay I will not tolerate any of those ignorant insults we will not tolerate libtard lib cook conservatard uh, Trump tard we we will not tolerate any of those terms if you cannot discuss your point intelligently rationally and with respect for those hearing it then you don't need to bring your point up that said everything going on between Trump and Russia seems to get deeper and deeper and deeper you have the ties now with Eric Trump his son and apparent collusion with the Twitter bots trying to sway the American public and the perception of Donald Trump in the election so this could really turn out to be a very far-reaching case in the event that charges are brought against Trump's lawyer this could pull out more information than any of us might even know exists can you imagine over years and years and years of not even just not even saying Donald Trump gets in a lot of trouble but just imagine being a very very famous very wealthy businessman how many things that you must have to take care of now quadruple that by the fact that it's Donald Trump and you can only imagine what being the chief of Donald Trump's legal team must be like I can only imagine scary to think about sometimes I sing to myself but it's usually off-key as you see next case <laughs> this is a feel-good story because dang it after all that we need a feel-good story granted this is not brand new news this is almost kind of a follow-up on a story from 2014 at the time this young man was 22 years old he is now 26 years old his name is Barkley Paul Okari I hope I'm pronouncing that right this is a Kenyan college student who worked to design reusable washable sanitary products for poor African women and I know a lot of guys were just going ew 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 but understand that that time of the month happens whether or not you have money and it really wasn't until I read that article that it just hit me like a ton of bricks like that just it yeah I didn't think about it but I mean once a month you have to have you have to have tampons pads panty liners whatever products you use and quite frankly they're not cheap good tampons are not cheap panty liners are not super cheap and it dawned on me that there are women who have to walk three miles just to get clean drinking water for one day when it's their time of the month they have no options and it just breaks my heart even further so this young man Barkley Paul Okari I will link to the article below within that article are links to help donate and support this cause it's a brilliant cause and he deserves all of the help all of the love and all of the support and finally our feel-good puppy story of the week is the story of Salty the ultimate diva greyhound dog rescued after being a race dog and not getting love and affection for the first few years of her life now she is the ultimate diva dog definitely watch her video the link is in the description below and that is this week in sparkle thank you guys so much for hanging out i hope you learned something new definitely definitely take a few minutes go through these links in the description box watch some of these videos read these articles and tell me what you think your opinions matter to me so much i want to know what you think about these stories 
Is there something you want me to cover? My DMs are always open. Hit me up and tell me, hey, Jenna, you should really look at this. And as always, my social media links are in the description box below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Hang out with me on Snapchat. I'm a barrel of monkeys, man. And every once in a while, Ray Ray makes an appearance. And y'all know he's a superstar. Don't forget all my coupon codes in the description box as well. Get yourself some new makeup, eyeshadows, bronzers, contour kits. You can get dresses and high heels and sunglasses. Pretty much anything you need, I've got a coupon code for it. So, that said, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Sparkle Army, I love y'all more than anything in this whole wide world, and I will see y'all very, very soon. Stay beautiful.